Hello everyone, welcome to NeuroSapiens. In today's tutorial, we'll look at how to add in a nested list to a markdown cell for Jupyter Notebook. So we'll start here by creating a new markdown cell and we'll start with a bullet list. So we'll create a first paragraph. And so if we run this, we have a bullet list here, for first paragraph. So we can then nest this by adding in either four white spaces or single tap space and here, bullet list and numbered list can be mixed together. So we'll add in a numbered list for this first bullet list point. So it's first sub paragraph, second sub paragraph, and third sub paragraph. So once we run this, we now have where the outer list is a bullet list and then the inner nested list here is a numbered list. And so we can then also add a numbered list here as the outer list of so one dot, second paragraph and nested within can be a bullet list. So there's three different ways to actually show bullet lists. You can either use an asterisk, so first bullet subparagraph or use a plus. So second will a subparagraph. And then the third option is to actually use a hyphen. So once we run this, these are all valid symbols here for a bullet list. So we now have three different nested contents here. And so one more option for an outer list is to use a bracket. So this will actually create a numbered list. So we're going to create third paragraph and nested within we can have one subparagraph, but also a second subparagraph. And then there can actually be another nested layer within this first nested list. All right, so to do that, we just need to add in another tab space and then add the contents for the next layer here. So we'll add in another sub paragraph here. So once we run this, we now have another nested layer here for the already nested list. So this is how to add a nested list to Markdown cell for Jupyter Notebook. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell for weekly videos please share the video with anyone who you think would benefit from the content and comment below what topics you would like to learn if you would like to support this channel and have the means to do so the best way will be via my patreon link in the description below happy learning and i'll see you in the next tutorial